It has come down to this, an emergency request to the U.S. Supreme Court for a stay of execution in the case of Theodore Bundy has been rejected this evening. The vote was five to four. Bundy is scheduled to die in Florida's electric chair tomorrow morning at seven. There may still be some last-ditch legal maneuvers that could cause yet another delay in the execution, including an appeal for clemency to the governor of Florida. But just by way of background, since 1925 in Florida, there have been 202 appeals for clemency, and only six have been granted. And Governor Bob Martinez, who will have to make that clemency decision on Ted Bundy, has already indicated that he wants the execution to take place. Indeed, Bundy's murders, those for which he is being executed, there are three, and at least 20 others to which he has confessed, have made his execution a rather popular event. Here's more on the Bundy story from Nightline correspondent Judd Rose. These are just a few of Ted Bundy's victims, the dead and the living. I say this for each member of my family, and I'm certain for the other families too, nothing is ever, ever the same again. I find myself even, and even now when I'm in a crowd, looking for... Uh, for everything he did to the girls, the bludgeoning and the strangulation, humiliating their bodies, torturing them, I feel that the electric chair is too good for him. It's been a long time, 15 years since the first murder. 10 years since he went to death row, but now it's just hours. Unless there is a last man to stay at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, they'll throw the switch on the electric chair at Florida State Prison. And finally, the tragic twisted saga, Ted Bundy, will be over. He is an affront to civilized society. Uh, he decided that he was not going to play by anybody's rules, that he wanted to kill, um, and he was uh, going to kill, and he was going to continue killing. He's convicted of three murders, but authorities think he actually killed 36 and perhaps many more. There have been other notorious serial killers, David Berkowitz, New York, son of Sam, who killed six women, Henry Lee Lucas, who claimed he killed hundreds in the Southwest, John Wayne Gacy, convicted of murdering 33 young men near Chicago, Duane Corona, convicted of the death of 25 farmers in California, misfits, loners, drifters, but not Ted Bundy. Here is a man who seemingly had everything. He's, he's intelligent, he's charismatic, he's handsome, he was on his way in the Republican Party. I thought he would be governor of Washington now rather than going to the, to the chair. Bundy had gone to college law school, worked in politics. Men admired him, women liked him, but behind the mask was a depraved killer. Starting in early 1974, he began stalking pretty young women. Once he got them alone, he would bludgeon them, rape them, strangle them, and leave their bodies in the wild for the animals to finish them off. Many were never found. Ted enjoyed the thrill. There was a, an inward thrill in selecting a victim. And it was usually at night. It was usually after he'd had a couple of beers to steady his nerves. And he would go out and he would literally hunt. The murders spread from Washington to Oregon, Utah, and Colorado. And when Bundy was finally caught, everyone was stunned. We still don't believe it. It just just can't be. I keep shaking my head day after day saying how can this be because our son is the best son in the world. He's a very normal active boy. And Bundy himself showed his arrogance saying the legal system will prove his innocence. Well I'm sure it works and you've got to have faith it'll work or else you'd be, you'd be reduced to some kind of uh, you know mumbling idiot. But Bundy wasn't done yet. He skipped from jail, was recaptured and skipped again, changing his appearance like a chameleon. Bundy continued to kill, until his bloody journey brought him to Florida, where in January of 1978, he went wild in the sorority house, viciously assaulting four women, two died. A month later, he raped and strangled a 12 years old girl. Shortly after, Ted Bundy was caught. Since I have been in Dade County, I've been allowed to shake your finger at me, young man. Don't shake your finger at me, young man. 
Upon this trial, completely live TV cameras and the defendant acting his own lawyer was a national sensation. Finally convicted and sentenced to die, Bundy still refused to accept the blame for his crimes. Because it is not a sentence of me, it is a sentence of someone else who's not standing here today. Ted's a sociopath and antisocial personality. They have no conscience as, as we know it. They truly feel no empathy for other people. They don't understand other people's pain. The rest of us are there to make them feel better. Bundy has been consistent to the end. He began admitting his crimes, thinking he would buy some time. Today, Kanye Coach learned Bundy had confessed to killing her daughter Nancy 14 years ago. Ted Bundy needs to die. He needed to die 10 years ago or longer, and uh, he should not have been allowed to live this long. In the places he ravaged, few disagree, like on the campus of Florida State. In person, I think he should be fried right away. Um, what he did was it was grotesque. And the impending execution has been a source of all sorts of Bell's humor. I'm making a statement that I think it's time for Bundy to go. And apparently it is. Did Bundy's execution is regarded by most with the same lack of remorse he always showed his human prey.